The next tool, uh, the th uh, tool is critical thinking vocabulary is important in that. If students don't understand the language of the question, they'll often struggle. So if we, first of all, we need to use the vocabulary routinely, but we also need to slow down and unpack it with children. What does it mean to analyze? What, what is a sound inference versus a guess? So that children, when they see these words, know. When we talk about thinking strategies, I think it's really important to understand thinking strategies are not instructional strategies in that over time they need to be owned by the children. So all of the five intellectual tools we talk about are what the children use for their thinking. My goal over time is that children have their own repertoire of thinking strategies. If I gave you a task, you could say, well, I could mind map this, I could use a Venn diagram here, I might use a five W's chart here. But when, when children have their own repertoire, they become more self-regulated as learners. They can say, this would be a great place to use this one that we learned. The other intellectual tool, four of the intellectual tools we talk about, um, background knowledge, criteria, vocabulary, and thinking strategies, I can teach them. I can teach you the criteria, I can teach you how to mind map. The fifth intellectual tool, are habits of mind, and I can't teach a habit. This is a, an important distinction for teachers. I can't teach you to be empathetic. Okay, so I can teach a lesson on empathy. That doesn't mean you're going to be empathetic tomorrow. It means you know the meaning of the word, and you might recognize it in others because I taught you the word. It doesn't mean you're empathetic. Okay, so I, I, want to, I want you to, be, to persevere. I want you to pay attention to detail. Well, telling me that and teaching me the words doesn't get me there. That's something we have to nurture. And notice habits of mind are called that because they must become habitual. They have to become habitual over time. So there are a variety of ways we work with the habits, but they really do need to be nurtured. And if we bite off too many, you find that it's a superficial treatment and really doesn't impact the way we want.